Okay, it's been half an hour and I've taken it out of the oven and it's cooled so that it's not too hot for me to touch. And all we need to do now is trim up the edges and get rid of all the excess bits of pastry. So using a nice um, flat um, sharp knife, what we're going to do is just scrape away on the top. And you just need to be a little bit careful when using a quiche dish because it's ceramic and has the um, rounded edges to the dish as opposed to a tart tin which has nice sharp metal edges. Just got to be a little bit more careful just to make sure that it doesn't crack. So just effectively shaving away with the knife, as you can see that I'm doing, just until you can get the edge of the, um, the ceramic dish. There we go. Just as flat as you can with the knife. And that will also, the flatter you hold the knife, it means that around here when you take the dish out, it just makes it little details, make it look a lot nicer. You'll have a nice flat, even um, case. And don't worry, if you see it like this, it's just started to crack away, that's absolutely fine. It's doing the work for you. I'm going to turn this round so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going all the way round, scraping away the excess pastry, just nice and gently. And this is just such a lovely, easy recipe to do. I know it might take a little while from start to finish if you're making your own pastry, but because it all doesn't have to get done in one go, you can make the pastry the night before, then you can make the, 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 actual, the actual case in the morning, and then fill it in the afternoon. No problem at all. Go. So just keep going round. Just scraping away till you reveal the top of the dish. Obviously the other good thing about the quiches is that if you just use the proportion of eggs and milk, it's approximately, for every one egg you use, it's about 50 millilitres of double cream. So then you can, I'm doing Mediterranean vegetable, but you can use bacon and leek. That's one that I do, but it's a little bit more, feels a bit more wintry, that one. There we go, this bit's just edge is broken off, that's fine. There we go. Pull it around. Almost done. And then what you should find is that the edges should Just pull away. There we go. Right. Go one bit. That's all literally come apart. Perfect. Just like that. So I'm going to get rid of the tray that's got all the bits on it and bring in my baking tray and we'll do everything on the baking tray now because it's easier to do this um, because then once you've filled it with the egg mixture you don't then want to be um, sort of putting it and lifting it as much as possible so tomato puree now so using your teaspoon it'll probably be about two teaspoons but just use your teaspoon place it in the bottom of the of the quiche and then with the back of the spoon just spread it all the way across that's one teaspoon and two teaspoons and this just gives it a really nice tomato-y base. There we go. Obviously it doesn't have to be smooth or anything like that. So that's done. And now I can just move this to the side and bring in the egg mixture. Just tidy up a little bit. There we go. Pile. So you should have your three eggs into your measuring jug. We're just going to give them a, just a light whisk together and then add the double cream, add all the vegetables, pour it in and we're done. So just a quick whisk up of the eggs. 
<laughs> Nothing too dramatic. And then we're going to add in 150 millilitres of your double cream. So I'll hold this up so I can see. There we go. Oh, perfect. And then just give that a little whisk in together. Great. So you have to have this really nice thick mixture. And the reason we add the cream is otherwise it would just end up like scrambled eggs in a tart tin, which wouldn't be very nice. And then lastly, taking of your you should have a little plate with all your vegetables, your little bits of pepper chopped up, and your finely chopped onion and your baby spinach. Pop that straight in. To the uh, sorry straight into the eggs and the cream into the measuring jug would help if I gave you good instructions we go and then just give that a little mix together with your fork there we go And then lastly we need to season it and we need a good pinch of salt so I'll show you there we go a nice good pinch of salt and a good few twists of pepper a good pinch of pepper as well and we'll make sure that that gets thoroughly mixed in as well and then we can bring our baking tray back over and it's just a case of pouring this in. We go. So if you bring your baking tray over, just need to pour in the mix. We go. And then just using your fork just spread it out nicely look at that perfect and then lastly you should have your little slices of courgette and to make it look nice and pretty we're just going to place these in a circle round the outside Squeeze them together a bit more, fit another one in. There we go. And then it's already on your baking tray. All you need to do is pop this into your oven for 30 to 35 minutes and check it after half an hour. And this middle bit in between the courgette, that bit should just be just slightly soft still. It'll look as if when you take it out of the oven, if you weren't careful, it would still run. And then leave it to set. But if you carry on watching, you'll be able to see what mine looks like when it comes out the oven and what yours therefore should look like. And then once it comes out, you just need to leave it to, oops, leave it to cool, um, and then you'll be able to turn it out and enjoy it. But I'll pop this in the oven, and then you'll be able to see what it looks like. Okay, it's been in the oven for 35 minutes. I've just taken it out, and as you can see, the centre, when I touch it, is still just slightly soft so you just need to leave it to um, to cool down now completely um, before turning it out and enjoying it and well, I hope you enjoy it <laughs>